Hey, so we've got a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan and the passenger side door we have a lot of problems with uh, where it doesn't open when you press the buttons and when you do it manually it won't close uh, and when you press the button while it's open it doesn't close either so now she's going to push the button and we'll just show you what it does so hopefully you heard that it tried to open it's kind of moving it did probably unlatch so that opened but now that it's open so it's it's back i'm going to press this button and it doesn't do anything i'm going to open it up manually and see if the button works nothing so just a lot of problems with this mechanism we have pressed the button in the back sometimes doesn't open and so the door actually won't won't close so we haven't used this door in like two to three years because of this problem see i pressed the button that time and it tried to tried to open but it didn't so we're tired of tired of this happening and what we're going to do to try and fix it is to replace the rear door latch so we bought a used from a junkyard rear door latch here and we're gonna go ahead and replace this so we're gonna have to pull the door panel remove the glass do a lot of stuff in here we're just gonna document the process and hopefully this fixes it so if you're having the same types of door malfunctions that we are then uh, gives you an idea on so this is the rear door latch mechanism just kind of showing you what it looks like before we get it installed all right so luke left me in charge of getting this door panel off um i know i need to start with taking these two bolts off and then popping uh this off um let me go ahead and do that real quick all right so i just stuck a little pry tool in here and pried it and then just it just slid right out next i'm going to remove this screw and then i should be able to start popping the door panel off all right so before I can pop this door panel off, it looks like I need to get this off. So I'm going to try and grab a, a pry tool and see how I get this to come off. I think it's just clipped on there, um, but I'll let you know. Alright, so I got this piece off. Um, it was just clipped down here and here. Now I'm going to try and get the door panel off. Alright, so I got the door panel off. Um, I need to unhook this, so be sure to unhook the... I believe this is for the window just slides out and then you can pull your door panel completely off and set it to the side. All right, so got the door panel off. Um, the next thing we need to get off is this like black plastic thing. Um, it's got the window motor that I know I'll have to take off, but it looks like it's just a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts and then three of the like star looking um, screws to take out. And I think it'll come out. So down here, there's this uh, connection. I'm gonna unhook it because I think we'll need um, to unplug this in order to pull this entire black piece off. I did get this unbolted. I haven't pulled it out. Um, I'm gonna work on pulling all of these connections out. All right, that did not want to come out, but we got that on. I need to unplug these. I don't know what this thing's called, but it looks like I need to open it and possibly disconnect this line. So let me get something to pop this open and see if we can disconnect it here. All right, I got a screwdriver, pop these two tabs up. Um, so now I'm just going to slide this wire out. Um, hopefully I can get it out of here, slide that out, and then now I should be able to hopefully, that's the last one that's kind of like really holding me into place. I'm going to 
not sure. I'm gonna have to play around with these to see which can stay and which I'll need to pop out if not all of them. All right, so I'm gonna pull this out now. I just need to push the, the top of this in and it'll slide right off. Okay, I got that disconnected. Um, I'm still working on figuring out what I need to do here. All right, so it's been a minute, but I ended up having to take like everything apart. There were two screws holding this uh, handle in, so I went ahead and took those off. Now, this is loose. But I'm still struggling with getting the back of this to come loose. Um, I got this wire holding me up. I'm going to right now take this off just to kind of get this stuff out of the way. Um, I think this just pops in and then this cable just needs to slide out from there. So I'm going to try taking that out and see um, if I can get this back. I got the door handle disconnected. Um, all it was is I had to spin this around and push this metal out of this hole and then it snapped right out. Um, and then this piece, which was ran through here, I just had to get it unclipped from right there. And then this whole thing come off. Still fighting the back of this. I haven't figured out what's holding me up. Um, I'm sure it's related to this line. I'm hoping I'm not going to have to take this um, I guess this is like the front lock out. Um, I did a little research in it and it looks like I can unhook it from the back. I just need to be able to get to it. So I'm not sure if there's like a, a clip or if maybe this is slid over the metal. Um, but I have all of the rest of the wires loose where once I, once I get it out, I should be able to slide out. One thing I forgot to tell you, when you pull the window motor up, you might want to tape your window up because... I pulled my motor up and it started sliding down, so I had to go get uh, assistance there and push the window up and then we just duct taped it to the door. So the window's up, um, the motor's pulled out. Um, I can see behind here, you guys probably can't very well, um, I see like the window track and everything. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep playing, playing with trying to get this piece out. All right, so I don't know if you can see, but this is, I figured out what's holding me up. So on the back of this black panel, I stuck my phone back there. Um, there is these three clips that need to slide back and then the door panel should pop off. Fingers crossed. Well, that was a nightmare, but we got it off. This was very stubborn. Um, sliding it off of this bracket but we got it off so I think now we're looking like we can get back there and unbolt the old rear lock. Alright so we took out there was a bolt here a 10 millimeter and a 10 millimeter here we took those out I think that's for like a some kind of um, rear like sliding tray for the window to go down in um, but I have those loose and now I'm going to go to the back side of the car and then take out there's three of the the star bolts take those out um, and then see if we can get it to to come loose without having to pull the window off. these are the three bolts I'm talking about so I'm going to go ahead and take those out now got those three bolts out it looks like it's starting to come out so hopefully I can just kind of wiggle it and get it to come all the way out without having to pull the glass so I'm going to keep playing with it. So I got this entire thing out of the door. So this is where the two brackets for the where the window would slide down. That came out as well. Um, but this is this is the piece we think we need to change. So um, I'm going to go ahead and unplug these connectors and uh, see if I can get this uh, piece undone in the new one installed. All right, so I got these three plugs undone. This one you just have to push on the top of it and then it slid out. And then this one at the top had like a lever, like a red piece that you pulled up and then it slid off. And then there was one back here. This one, another one that you pulled up and then you pinched in there. And then it, so I'm moving on to taking this rail off. Um, looks like all I need to do is push.
push this tab in and it should slide off, which it is. All right, so I got that uh, rail off. Now I'm gonna try to save this black piece to put it on the new one. There we go. Got that off. So this is the old one. Only thing I still need to save is going to be this piece. And I believe that is everything. So let me get this off and then look at the tube. But I think we'll be ready to put the new one back in. Alright, so this is the old one. I got it out. Only thing I need to take, um, it has the three wires here. The new one has the three wires. Only thing I need to take is uh, this piece and attach it here. Um, so once I get that attached, go ahead and put this frame back onto this and then attach this on. And then it will be ready to go back in the door. Well, almost ready. I forgot. I have to attach the harness back to it. So there's three plugs. Um, that we'll need to plug in. This one I need to snap through. Um, so there's there's a plug here, here, and then here. So I'll attach these three plugs and then it'll be ready to go back in. All right, it's all put back together. Uh, now I'm gonna try and put it back in the door. There was enough room here for me to snake this in, so I got this hooked up. So now, now I finally can. All right, got that bolt in, got that bolt in. Now I think we can start. I didn't put the three screws that go in the back of the door in because mine look pretty stripped. So I'm going to go find new ones um, and then uh, install those. I'm going to start putting some of these wires back where they belong. These bolts, these three bolts replaced, got this in place. We might have to do some adjustment later when we go to close the door, but for now they're in and I'll be moving on to putting that black panel on and then pulling these wires back through it. All right, so I got the black plastic panel put back on. I pulled these through, back through, and ran them. Um, got this hooked back in, this hooked in. Um, put the motor back on for the window. And then I got these plugs that I had them plugged back, plugged back in, and then this plug. Now, after all my hard work, I'm going to go ahead and test the door. Alright, so I got the door almost all put together except the door panel, but I'm going to go ahead and test it. I got everything hooked up. So, so far, so good. I'll press the button on the inside. Okay. And then Luke's going to go ahead and press the button on the inside to see if it will open it as well. So far, so good. So I think, I think we fixed the problem before it wasn't doing anything like that. It would just like stutter and it really didn't want to open. So I think, I think after like three years of the door not working, uh, an afternoon of a little work, we got it to, to work. All right, she's all put back together and seems to be working fine. 